Hello friends, how are you? I hope you're having an amazing, fantastic, incredible day today. My name is Alex and I still have no clue what I'm doing here on YouTube, but today we will be trying on and reviewing Rare Beauty Warm Wishes Effortless Bronzer Stick. If you don't know, Rare Beauty came to the UK very recently. I think it came in February or end of January and in the whole world Rare Beauty is available in Sephora but in the UK it is available in Space and K. I visited the store and they gave me a cute little bag with some samples and we will talk about samples a little bit later because I have no idea what is inside but <laughs> let me share with you my experience of buying it because I wanted to have full experience of purchasing this product and I've been waiting for this product uh, for a very long time even when I was in New Zealand unfortunately it came to New Zealand after I left it but I refreshed the page every day just to see that now it didn't come to New Zealand of course I'm a huge fan of Rare Beauty and I love this brand I have a lot of their products and I've been trying them more and more. I went to London, to the center of London, I went to Guide Park and I had a lovely stroll from there to, uh, to Soho and uh, if you don't know this was a huge stroll and I visited all the space and car shops uh, on my way and let me tell you that they don't really have a lot of rare beauty stands in their shops. They have a little bit of products like gift boxes with the rare beauty mini products and that's it. And they didn't have bronzers. And I... I don't know. I made a conclusion that maybe rare beauty is not so loved in the UK because it was a real struggle to buy it. And the only shop where I found it was in Soho. This is my mirror, we will be applying this product, so don't be intimidated by it, I have to see my face. Let's open this lovely bag and see what is inside. The bag is very beautiful with a cute little bow. What do we have here? Our check. No, don't want to see it. We have a book. Oh, there is a voucher for a gift. That's great, the book with all of their products. And... Uh, the book is quite thick and I don't really support such types of things because it is not environmentally friendly, you know, you can give me the link, you can send me an email, but you don't need to give to me this thick paper book, which most of the people won't even look at. Let's move on and discuss our samples. The first sample is mailing and Goods peppermint shampoo. We have five milliliters or 17 ounces. Massage a small amount onto wet hair and scalp to create a gentle lather. Rinse clean. <laughs> I've never found shampoo samples before. I've never heard about this brand, but I'm new to the UK, so maybe <laughs> this is something interesting. But for me, I don't have long hair, but even for me, it won't be enough for one application so I don't really think that this is a cool idea. We have one more sample. This is Malin and Goods Vitamin B5 Body Moisturizers. It has the same volume and this looks very cute. I'm very excited about this one because it has decent amount of product and I will be able to use it at least for my hands. The last sample which we have is... Oh, this is Rare Beauty, always an optimist illuminating primer. This is exciting. I've seen it in shops, I've done some swatches and I've been wanting to try this product for a very long time. It is amazing. I really liked how it looked. This is how she looks like. She's so pretty, she's so beautiful. We have 0 0.17 ounces of 5 milliliters and for primary sample 5 milliliters is very generous, I would say. She adds a beautiful glow to the skin. You can't really see it because it becomes not visible on face, but you can still see that natural illuminating glow on your face. I'm very curious to apply it on my face and wear it with my makeup. And yeah, I think that in one of my next videos we will definitely do it. Let's discuss uh, bronzers a little bit. So it costs 22 pounds, which is 
a lot. And she has five shades. Uh, Power Boost, Happy Soul, Always Sunny Spring, Full of Life and True Warmth. I'm in love with names. I think they are very heartwarming and uh, kind and nice and I always have happy and nice mood when I'm using them. If you are looking at those shades on the website, we see that the shades range from the lightest to the darkest. And I think that shades are fine to suit most of the people, but when I came to the store, because I was very curious to swatch them <laughs> and applied it on my hand, unfortunately I have no picture, I just forgot to make it, uh, they seemed very light to me. I chose uh, the shade Full of Life. This is one of the darkest shades. You can tell me Alex, are you crazy? This is too dark for you. But I was very interested, so I decided to choose this one and make it work. Let's apply a little bit of lip gloss on my lips because they are drying. I'm using Elf Cookies and Dreams Black Lip Gloss. We have already discussed this collection. I will link this video in the description box. A few moments later. Now I feel much better. I hate dry lips. Unfortunately, my lips are very dry and in every room in my small apartment, on every visible place, I have uh, different lip glosses, lip balms, uh, in order to hydrate my lips. Rare Beauty Bronzer Stick. This is the box. The box is very cute and they have their typical packaging, white packaging with um, just the name of the product and the shade. What else do you need on the packaging? It has 25 ounces or 7 grams. This is how she looks. I think she looks very pretty, but for me maybe a little bit too simple. For 22 pounds I would prefer to have a little bit more intricacy. And this seems quite boring to me, I don't know. This is not the first impression. I've been using this product for several times now and I'm sharing my thoughts after using this product. It has a twistable tube. The applicator is quite thick. There is no applicator. This is thick. When I first started applying it, I just took this one and I created one whole line uh, pushing this product hard on my face. <laughs> This is so pigmented. I ended up just with brown face. I looked like a roasted turkey during Christmas lunch. You see that the product is very creamy, very pigmented. This is very, very pigmented. By the way, by the way, we forgot to discuss the eyeshadow palette of our video. This is still the same. This is Pixie by Petra. Chrome Glow Palette. I'm still in love with it and I use it every day. Unfortunately, I have a little incident when it fell on the ground and I lost a little bit of eyeshadow, but what is good, I lost only a tiny piece of eyeshadow and they didn't break completely. So I think that this eyeshadow would be perfect to travel with because, yeah, you can drop it and hopefully they won't break into pieces. We have uh, done a full review of this eyeshadow palette. This is not paid uh, ads. Uh, these are my honest opinions and I will also link that video in the description box. Bronzer. So let's start applying it. I wouldn't recommend you to apply it a lot on your face and I would recommend you to apply it with the small strokes because it is very very pigmented. But you are free to do and apply it whatever uh, you like and however works for you. By the way, does it have a scent? It has very very light coconut scent. It can be either coconut or light chemical sweet scent. But it is very nice. Now we're looking crazy. And let's start blending it out. I tried to do my best and not to apply a lot of the product and let's try to blend it out and see how how she works. I have done beauty blender and actually we can see that it's not so easy to blend it out. We need to make a lot of effort in order to make it work. See, it doesn't really blend easily. Let's apply a little bit 
more on my nose and on my nose I will blend it out with a brush. Now my face looks very nice and pretty. I'm still not sure if this shade works for me or not. But I like this nice sun-kissed effect on my face and now let's complete my makeup look because obviously I don't wear any blush highlighter and I haven't set my face and I will share with you my final thoughts. As a blush I will wear NARS uh, Orgasm blush. This is their iconic blush and I have very different emotions about it. At first, when I first started using it, I was like it is not pigmented at all, where is the pigment? And when you come to the store, you can see that all the pens are very, very dry and you basically don't know what you are buying because when you start swatching them, there is no pigment inside. This is happening for a lot of uh, high-end um, blushes. For example, I have the same with Tarte, uh, their Amazonian clay blushes and with MAC blushes. and. <laughs> I think that with high-end products, when I come to the shop, I don't only go just to buy product. I go because I want to have an experience and I want to come there to have a look and to have different options. But when I come to the shop and I see those crazily expensive products and I can't even swatch them, it makes me sad and I don't think that it should be an issue. Now I rediscovered for myself this blush. I think that this is very pretty and um, it has a little bit of shine to it and it looks very natural and now I am just in love with this product. As a blush I will um, apply Rare Beauty Liquid Luminizer in a shade Mesmerize. It is still one of my most favorite blushes. I think this looks very natural, very pretty and it makes my skin look like it is glowing from the inside. A little bit on our cupid bow because we want to make this lip look fuller. Life hack! If you want to visibly make your lips look bigger, you have to apply a little bit of highlighter or concealer on your cupid bow and apply a little bit of um, bronzer on the bottom of your lip and it will create like a shade on your lip and your upper lip will be very light and see your lips now look bigger even though you have done anything crazy. <laughs> Let's set our face with Rimmel Kind of Free Translucent Pressed Powder. We also have done a review about her and <laughs> this is the only product which I like and which I can use from that collection. I think she's so nice and gorgeous. Yes, she looks very white, but on your face you will see just a tiny, tiny white hue, but <laughs> I am cool with it and uh, she sets your uh, face for the whole day. It makes it look flawless, nice and natural. Let me give you final thoughts about this product. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I started feeling that my love towards Rare Beauty started fading out because I don't feel like the quality of some of their products um, justifies the price. I feel like uh, Rare Beauty, they have a very cool strategy uh, of uh, creating this interest toward this brand because they uh, don't sell it everywhere in all the countries. They started selling it in America and there was no delivery to other countries and they, they moved to Europe, they came to New Zealand, to Australia, but last year and they came to the UK just recently and I know that in a lot of countries they still don't have rare beauty that is why a lot of people they just rush to shops to <laughs> buy rare beauty because they didn't have this opportunity before. I think that this product is cool, is nice, is very pigmented, very pretty, this complements skin but I don't think that 22 pounds is a reasonable price here. Five shades won't work for everybody. 
I don't think so. Even this shade, I don't think that it will work for the darkest skin tones. I may be wrong, but this is just my impression and all other shades were a little bit light on swatches and if you want to purchase this product I would definitely recommend you to go and visit uh, physical store if you can and swatch uh, this product because when I was at home and I looked at sw swatches on their website I chose completely different color the lightest color but when I came to the store I was like no <laughs> this will be too light for me I am a little bit uh, dissatisfied with how pigmented this product is because it is quite difficult to work it is very pigmented and another thing which I have about this product is it is not easily blendable I've spent a lot of time blending it out and I can still see those harsh lines and for me I can still blend it more and more because for me it's just not enough but definitely this was a very interesting product I'm still keeping a sharp eye on Rare Beauty because I am I'm interested in this brand. I like Selena Gomez very much. She's an amazing artist. I just adore her style. So, yeah, this was everything from me for today. Please let me know what are your thoughts about Rare Beauty. Have you tried bronzer stick? What is your favorite product by Rare Beauty? Oh, by the way, we have made a video where we discussed um, Rare Beauty dupes. I will also link this product in the description box because I think that that video was quite interesting with very unexpected dupes from drugstore brands. Please be safe, take care, I care about you and see you in my next video. Bye!